Okay. Zoom totally in, weird. bro. Zoom way in. Come on. All right, just calm down. Hold your phones, man. You got to think of the people. Hold on. Is that good? Mm -hmm. A little more. A little more. One more? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, anyway. I, I feel like I'm on one of those commercials getting those free phones with the giant number. <laughs> I, right. I, I need to buy these two. Well, let's let's back up. Let's back up and see. I want to talk about what some of the remote, more recent stuff to see what people think about it. I have I have Chet Baker. Okay. Yeah. So okay, far. Right here. It's right here. Yeah. Well, no, let's go through the whole year. What whole I don't, year. don't have. Some content. Yeah. Okay. I don't have Scuffalopopo. Hang on. I don't have that I'm one. Scroll past it. That one's great, man. You need to get that. Yeah, that's really good. Stop spending my money. You do enough of a it's job. The 2LP. Mike, Jazz Bones Mike was able to get it for like 32 bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. So I I listened to Donald Bird at the half note. I'm not, I don't need that record. Mm -hmm. so oh, Carmel, okay. Jones, Carmel Jones is good, but mm -hmm. I think it was a little overhyped, mainly by Jazz Bum Mike. I agree. With you. I, I agree with you. I the think dance, it's boring. So it far, kind of boring. Out of all these, a must own is Dance with Death. If yes. you don't buy mm -hmm. an Andrew Hill record, I feel sorry for you. Did you think mm -hmm. that Carmel Jones was just kind of boring? No, I didn't think no. I just um, it wasn't contained. I have much better Carmel Jones records. I just think you know the supporting some of the supporting players weren't that good. Oh shit! Nice. You um, know, I, I you know that's that was that was it um, for me. I think you know. Um, Carmel Jones played excellent, and someone else I can't even recall them now. But yeah, I, I there was some other, two other guys that I you know Gary Peacock was excellent on it, but the, some other guys that I, I just I was like, oh, dudes, you guys need to step up your game. This guy, you know, Carmel Jones is playing, and Gary Peacock are playing their ass off, and you guys are fucking just fucking diddling, you know, slipping <laughs> along, man. <laughs> It's sort of like this stream. When I'm up here struggling, I get no support. I always support you, Rob. That's not true. Okay, so mm. but that so far out of all these, the Andrew Hill. It was good. Roberto is perfectly correct. It was good, but it did not make him poop his pants. No. Yeah, yeah. Hill, you can poop. Yeah, Roberto yeah. makes fun of me all the time, but how many pooped pants would you give to Carmel Jones? <laughs> yeah. Um Dance with Death so far is like a 10. Everything yeah. else is below seven. The reason I got the Chet Baker sings, which I actually was impressed by, is because uh, you discover had buy two, get one free. So I got mm -hmm. that one. I have no desire to get the Mr. Natural. Oh, no, that's a good record, man. Mr. Natural was good. I got that one. I'm just you saying. Know, it's, like, I don't I don't regret purchasing it, but it's one of those um yeah, I can see why they didn't release it. Original. That's fair. That's it. That's yeah. it. I mean, I like it, but I agree. I have an. I already have an old version of the Gil Evans, so I don't feel like I need it. I like yeah. that one a lot. Too. Yeah, I, I got. I got the, uh, that tuber from you, Rob. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm not a. Uh, I I I'm a Freddie Hubbard. I got it because of the buy two get one free, and it's good. Mm. It's not the best Freddie Hubbard, but it's good. Yeah, totally agree on that. It's not I'm not thing. a. Don I am not a. Donald Bird guy at all, really. His 70s stuff is just not for me. It's a 60 so I, didn't get, I didn't get it's he's even in this one, he's getting into funk soul jazz. That's just what's wrong me. with that, man. That shit's awesome. Come it's on. not for me, dude. Yeah. Calm Come down. I, like the I, I had I have it, and you know, originally I wasn't gonna buy it, and then I bought it. Um it has a hot lady on the cover. It That's has, it. You know, I I ha I'm gonna I'm gonna do my you know, my usual give it this um, second play before you know giving it a final verdict. But it you know right off the bat I was like okay, <laughs> yeah you know, it just uh, solid, but you know not not it didn't wow me. <laughs> yeah, uh, time yeah. time for Tyner I got as part of the buy two get one free. Mm -hmm. But that's a must own. Mm -hmm. Bobby Hutchison. Yeah. It's just a solid, great. It's yeah. like a, I don't want to say it's a challenging listen. It makes you smarter by listening to it. That's what mm -hmm. I feel that record does. It's not my favorite China record or anything, but I did I did like it. It's a great oh, one. So I plan on buying 
I mm. plan on buying these two. I'm waiting for a summer sale. They, yeah. th as far as I'm concerned, they're must own records, but I just mm. haven't bought them yet. Yeah, yeah the Sonny got, Clark is great. Um, yeah, my Sonny Clark um, arrived today. I had it. On, I had it on. I have it on CD. And you know, cat, caddy for daddy. Um, mm -hmm. I got that when it was the day yeah. it was released. I, I have a um, Scorpio of Caddy for Daddy. It is a fun listen. It mm -hmm. is probably his, from beginning to end his most enjoyable record to listen to. Mm -hmm. The one I showed you, the slice, the whatever. Mm -hmm. That that's yeah. a more challenging listen. I think it makes you smarter. What I mean mm -hmm. by that. But cat, these are two must owns as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. So Sonny, the Sonny Clark though is is a, is better than the the Hank Mobley record. I mean, just in every way. Oh yeah, uh, overall yeah. It, it, the it, Hank Mobley was cool, and I need to listen to it again. I listened to the first one, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. But like, I know that sound, and you know, I've got a lot of records that kind of sound like that. Mm -hmm. The Sonny Clark trio record. I don't know. There's something about it. It's like mm -hmm. it's just a great trio record. It's kind of got a lot of the energy for only being a trio. Here's another thing. If you just bought it for the cover alone, then you did a good purchase. <laughs> uh, the Lee Morgan, I said I already own it, the OG 1980. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. But the cover yeah. for it is pretty cool. But I'll it's it's probably in the middle of his records. It's not mm -hmm. the best Lee Morgan record, mm -hmm. but it, it's a, a not so good Lee Morgan record is 10 times better than a lot of other records. Mm -hmm. The Duke Pearson, I have not listened to, but it's a good one. I, I have the OG. It's a good no, one. Uh, they're better, but they're better Duke Pearson records to buy. I was thinking about holding off. Oh, on you that. haven't listened to it. You you haven't heard it. How do you know, man? It could be the yeah, best. Exactly. One. How, how do you know? I haven't listened yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, listen, Chris. Listen, Chris. Are you ready for couples counseling? <laughs> yes. Will you go to the dentist with me next week? I'm scared. I gotta get a root canal. All right. I I don't have any John Patton records. And I have an OG of schizophrenia. What is it? Schizophrenia. schizophrenia. I have an OG, so I don't feel the need to get it. What about you, Felipe? Do you have an OG? Which one, Rob? Sorry. Of uh, Wayne Shorter. No. I I skipped on a few because the cover is so beat up. I, I, I knew no, that I was going to be Tom Paul just waiting for a Tom Paul. Mine's in perfect condition, so I feel no need. That's good for you. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the uh, Wayne Shorter. Um, the John Patton one to get? No? Nah. Yeah, that's a good one. I have it. I mean, that's supposed to be like one of his best, uh, if not his best, one of his best. Um, yeah. Can I ask, a, ask you a question, Felipe? Yes. If the, Is there a song in there that goes like this? I feel like every jazz organ record has that song on that. <laughs> yeah. I like jazz organ. No, no, no that will be good. I feel no need to get the Herbie Nichols because I have this uh, uh, Blue Note Classic series from the 70s that has all his shit. So I don't no, need sir. it. Mm -hmm. But that Jackie McLean, that's an instant purchase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, both, um, both of them are purchases for me. I, I love Herbie Nichols. I mean, I have the Mosaic box set, so... But I, I'm gonna get the um, I'm gonna get the blue note. Let me, let, me, yeah. let me see if I can pull it out. I end up pulling out all my records. So here's and, my take on Tom Poets. A lot of those Tom Poets I have OGs, I have great pressings, Japanese, but I just like them. I think they're collectible, they're good. I wanna have them all. That's it. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. me, me, me. I've ended up pulling out all my records to find this stupid Herbie Nichols. Here it is. This has all the Herbie Nichols stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure it does because it, it wasn't a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, this is two records. It's all the Herbie Nichols stuff. Mm -hmm. So cool. I don't need it. I have mm -hmm. it all up. That classic series is on here too, right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. The classic series is good. And it's cheap too. Yeah. Yeah. I wish they would do more like that. It was two ten inches. That was a, that was a cool concept, man. They should do some some other shit like that. You know, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. Yeah. What's next, Rob? All right. Next, so I don't person. know the I don't know this Kenny Burrell. Do you know Is this one? Okay. I know this one, but I don't have it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have it either. Is that much different than the one that came out uh, last year. 
Yes. Yeah. The one with the white, the cool white thing. cover. Mm -hmm. The Andy Warhol. Yeah. Wall. Andy Wall. yeah. It's the same period of time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. have an OG of the Jack Wilson you got recently, right, Felipe? Yes, it's phenomenal. Everybody should get this record. Yeah. Who else is on there with him? Yeah, let, let me pull it out, Rob. I don't remember. Don't one. pull it out, but get the record. Felipe is growing tired of your sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Meantime, I want the Grant Green. I know it's probably cheesy because he does covers, mm. but I like Grant Green. I want to get his stuff. And I have an OG of the McCoy Tyner extensions. Yeah. Yeah, um, that, that. So and that is, a, that is a must own record. Alice Coltrane is on it. It's a kick ass record. Yeah. yeah. So just going back, the right touch. That's an yeah. OG. Oh, cool. Mm. So who's on there with them? The Freddie Hubbard, Stanley Tarantino, James Pauly, Jerry Dodgeon, Garrett Brown, Gene Taylor, Grady Tate. I think it's a really cool record. And I can say because I actually listened to it. Yeah. Can you hold up the cover? Because I feel like it's uh, Duke Pearson is relieving himself while he's taking the picture. He does look kind of lost. I, was the, uh, I just tried to listen to the record. I'm not sure. He's thinking about baseball or something. And uh, here's the Ether wins. No, Lee Morgan's on there. Does he steal the record? Um, no, I have it here. Nobody stole it. Oh, you. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a Black Bee or something? It, or? It, it is a good record, but uh, to be honest, I like uh, Jack McLean here. It's really good. Mm. You know that lineup? That lineup's insane. Yeah. They did a ton of stuff around that time period because I have. Yeah, I mean, Crenshaw the and they were the house bands. Yeah. They, that was like a tight group of people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, especially yeah, Crenshaw, Billy Higgins. They were the house band. They played like hundreds of sessions together. So this is a really yeah. I might have to get that one. But the mm -hmm. um, I think if you don't get that, the two for this year, the Andrew Hill and the McCoy Tyner extensions, get that. Mm -hmm. Those are two yeah. Yeah. they're really and, good. And the Sun, Sunny Clark. Yeah, I, I think the Carmel Jones is also really good, and uh, the the Art Pepper. It was those are. We really just good. been bashing the Carmel Jones while you were up rearranging your sock drawer. At least in my system, sounds good. Okay. No, it sounds great. That, that's, it, it's good, uh, but I think it was overhyped by Jazz Bum Mike. It is Jazz Bum Mike's fault because I was very excited about it, and then I was, I liked it, but I was slightly disappointed because of the hype. <laughs> it was like one of the things where he was like, came on and this. Was crying about the, how important the record I, was, you know. I think I think the Chad Baker sings and plays came uh, under the radar. It, it is a really good record. Hey, when when the when the mm -hmm. um, Blu-ray collection comes out of all the jazz bum streams mm -hmm. on you the on that. the cover, say uh, like a quote from an audience member. I bought the, uh, the opposite of what Jazz Bum Mike did, and I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You can't be on the stream, man. Yeah, I agree. The, the Sonny Clark is top tier. They make you smarter. That that mm. Alice Coltrane. It sounds like an Alice Coltrane record. That McCoy you know what doesn't record. make you smarter is marijuana. Well, I need to do some right now. I'm gonna take <laughs> some. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sonny Clark trio. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Like, I don't know. I've got so many fucking blur notes now that I'm almost getting like kind of null to the releases. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. no, yeah. all the releases are coming. Out, I'm just like, okay, that's cool. But like, I've got so much of their stuff already <laughs> that I just kind of want to pick and choose more than uh, just doing everything. Which, All I do, Roberto, is I look at the albums you post on the Discord server, and I get the opposite, and those make me smarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you going to say, Felipe? Uh, forgot. Okay. No, I, I, sorry, remember. I, I think it just shows consistency, right? How great output the label has. It. We, we talked about it many times, you know. Uh, to be honest, I think um, a label that I think is over has impulse. There's great stuff in there. But I think across the board, Muse, for example, has average better release than 
impulse, for example. Maybe. Not, I mean, there's not, some. Yeah, I don't know. I'm either, to think about that. on impulse, I feel. I mean, you might be wrong. Just my 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 take. I think it's not it was really. true or, or not. It's just my take. No, there's definitely some filler on impulse. I've got a couple of them. Let me see. Keep talking. Hey, I'm gonna. I'm bringing up the classic series to see what else is coming out this year. Do you mm. want to see those? Yeah, yeah, sure, Robin. Go ahead. All right. Hold on. Uh oh. There we go. So. I have to be in there to move the thing. I, I didn't get this record. Yeah. Did I'm, anyone get this record? No. no. I, I'm behind on the Blue Note series because I'm waiting for. No, this I didn't get that. No. But but you know, spring is coming. That's that's enough. I think yeah. for the rest of the year. San Francisco, yeah. great record. You should get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Blues Nick, I got, but it's not. A must own Jackie McLean. Oh no, no I, I disagree. I, uh, but I got it. I got it. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I, 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 like it. I like that one. Um, it's a I it's sort of a it. transition. Um, Jackie Mc title and Jackie McLean's um catalog, but it, it works for me. I didn't get the horse parlon. Maybe if it comes down in price and there's a sale, I might get it. Yeah, both of these happen. records are must own. I have both. This I think the Sam Rivers is one of the best sounding uh classics there are. That thing just sounds really good. Yeah. I have the music matters, so I didn't get the classics. So. That's braggy. I, I I don't I didn't buy the Dizzy Reese. You know what I just listened to? Dizzy Reese has a record on Prestige called Asia Minor. That thing is killer. If Kraft, yeah. if you're listening, and you need to issue that record. Does anyone have Asia Minor? Nah, I'm, I think no. I don't even have it on CD, but it's yeah, it is excellent. It's probably, you know, I think for me, Asia Minor and Star Bright are his two best recordings. Asia Minor is a lot better than Star Bright. Hmm. It, uh, I don't know. I like Starbright. I haven't heard the other one, but I like Starbright. I picked that one up. I, I, if anyone finds me a copy of Asia Minor, I'll trade you something. Maybe that album is kick ass. Okay, uh, I sold an OG Johnny Cole to Felipe. Um, How about that one too? I've only listened to it once though. I didn't get either. The I have no interest in the Miles or the Fats Navarro. So, um, oh, they're, they're actually really good. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I have to cut it off somewhere. Yeah, um, I you know, I was like, man, maybe the sound quality is not going to be that great. And they did a good job with that too. Yeah, I like the Fat Navarro a lot more than the Miles, though. Mm. I really like the Fat Navarro. I hope to put the second one out. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't gotten the next two yet. I, I got, got yeah. I got the Glasper. I I, I have not. Um, the Mad Lib. I thought I pre-ordered it, but I didn't. I've listened to the Mad Lib. I might get that. They, he does a good job with that. Mm -hmm. Did anyone get Turning Point? I have not. Lee, Lee Morgan's not. on there, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Who? Lee Morgan is on Turning Point with Lonnie Smith. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have a Japanese copy of Spring, so I don't know if I need to get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. If I only have yeah. the CD. But I'm I'm gonna get unit structures. Yeah. I've been warned about that record, but I'm gonna get it anyway. Which yeah, one? So I've been warned about the that record yes, but unit it. structures that it's too weird. Yeah. Wait, is that the end of, of what we know about? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Jasmine's gonna have a video soon then about yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. All right, I got some crap.